So we're off to go fishing. Is that car going? We're off to go fishing at the Yellow Breaches today. Uh, location close to my house. I'm going to try to put some videos together of the entire length of the Yellow Breaches and kind of what fish are available, what fish are where, how well we do, um, the known stocking areas, and then the, there's actually um, Class A wild reproduction at the north side, so I'd like to make a video of that as well. I've already fished there before, I've had great luck, but I'd like to get it on a video. But today, we're heading to a location towards the dog park. Um, I don't know if it's Upper Allen or Lower Allen, um, we're not fishing at that part of the stream, but it's close to that area. Um, I went there the other night. Um, since then, we've had a lot of rain, so I couldn't go back. But I hooked into a very large Palomino. And I always have trouble tying um, my triple surgeon. For some reason, I can tie it, but it falls apart. But I hooked into this huge Palomino that I was targeting. Um, he finally took it. It was the first one I've ever you know, actually hooked and uh, my triple surgeon knot disconnected and I lost two of my flies um, in his face. So my plan was to go back a day later, try to get him back, seeing if I could catch him again and find him again, but I wasn't able to with the rain. Um, 10 minutes after I caught, well, hooked into that Palomino, I hooked into a very large brown trout that I actually did catch. Um, he was 16 inches, so that was my largest stocked brown trout I've ever caught and actually the only stocked brown trout I ever caught. Um, so I'm hoping that I can have successful luck. I found a nice hole that I had a couple bites in, so I'm hoping to at least pull one fish out tonight. I'm not gonna fish too long, um, maybe like an hour. So uh, let's get at it. Hopefully I get something and uh, we can capture it on a camera, hopefully the Palomino, so. Across the street, Let's put this thing up in front so it doesn't get caught. Hopefully, the door is locked. Probably a lot of floaters out today, kayakers and tubers. Does look good today. A lot of little fish in here, just little ones. I'm not gonna hurt you guys. We'll go in right there. All right. Got a phone call, I got stuck while I was on the phone call, but I'm at my spot, there we go. could be pretty heavy. So the other night when I was here, Palomino was hanging right under this dead tree, extending out into the water. That's where we're gonna focus today, as long as I don't get stuck. And then we'll go on the other side of it where I called my brown. So I do wanna get a little closer because the fish did not seem to care where I was. So we'll play here for like 10 minutes, then go below it. So I'm using a squirmy wormy I made, actually a really big one. And then I also tied a large pheasant tail, which is what I hooked that big brown on. Wow, oh, this tree is gonna give me some problems. So when I hooked that Palomino, he took it right underneath that log. 
And then when I pulled, that's when my lure came off. I watched him whip around and then he was off. Terrible cast. There we go. There we go. That's my golden. That's my palomino. I can't believe he was there. This is a big guy. This is a big fish, guys. How you doing? Good, how about you? Just got a big palomino. There you go. Yeah. Nice, dude, I see him all the time on here. I came here the other night and I hooked into the same one. He stole my flies and I came back today to try to get him, he was here. What'd you use? Uh, he, he got my squirmy wormy, it looks like. There you wow. Go. There's a walnut. That's a hell of a fish. Good job. Thanks, man. Nice. Dude, I, I, when I come down here standing up, I see at least 10. Yeah, it's insane. Thank you. Wow. Wow. That thing is massive. I can't believe he's still here. I did not want to lose him. All right. That is awesome. Clean release. There you go, big guy. Oh my God. I'm so happy. He's still in the water right there. I'm gonna see him swim off. Oh, man, my heart is racing. That is freaking awesome. I caught him on this huge squirmy wormy I made. Look how big that bead head is. He's still swimming down. Oh, jeez. All right, let's try right here. Got one. I might get off because I can't keep tension. He's a little guy. He's on the squirmy wormy. Little fish. Oh man, he's not even, I don't even think he's a trout. He's not. So, I don't know if this is a carp or a shad, but let him go. See you, bud. Little fish, big fly. That is awesome, though. Another one. So, I need to be a little more where here comes a huge float. Jesus. I hope there's more than one person on there. There we go, there's another one. This guy's following me. Come on, keep it down, keep it down. This guy's fighting. It's not bad. It's a rainbow. Let him do the work. Got him. That's a nice looking brown. All right, he's going. A lot better luck than I thought. I thought it would, thought it'd be a little slow with how hot it's been lately. I think we're done fishing here. So we had some good luck. Um, so like I said before, this is where I was coming to catch my Palomino. First fish I hooked was my Palomino. Massive guy, I can't wait to get home and try to guesstimate what a, what size fish he was. Um, second fish I caught, I'm, I'm not quite sure the species of. It's either a carp or a mayfish. Um, which I don't know the technical term for it. Could be American Shad. 
Um, and then our third fish was a nice brown trout, probably 12 or 13 inches. Um, I didn't really get to show that one on the camera because he kind of squirmed out. But I'm all right with that because it was fun catching him. So.